hey you guys on this lovely monday i am back again with another word from the lord this morning while i was doing a corporate prayer god had um showed me a number and he i've been seeing this number for a while but it just really haven't been sticking out to me and it stuck out to me really strong today and god told me to look it up in a strong concordance so i did um but when i waited till i got home um in order to get more clarity so i can actually read the scriptures and all the other good stuff so the number that god took me to was 7 um 53 and it means a master builder and architect the superintendent in the erection of buildings okay and then it's two scriptures that god had gave me one was isaiah 3 and 3 and the other one is first corinthians 3 and 10 or these are the scriptures that relate and god told me to actually go to them and read them um and so the first scripture i'm going to start at is first corinthians 3 um chapter no first corinthians 3 verses 10 is the key scripture and i'm going to read verses 10 through 15 and then i'm gonna read the commentary for this because he want god wants me to read the commentary for this because of god's special favor to me i have laid the foundation like an expert builder now others are building on it but whoever is building on this foundation must be very careful for no one can lay any other foundation than the one we we already have jesus christ now anyone who lays on the foundation may use gold silver jewels wood hay or straw but there are going to come a time of testing at the judgment day to see what kind of work each builder has done everyone's work will be put through the fire to see whether or not it keeps its value if the work survives the fire the builder will receive a reward but if the work is burned up the builder will suffer great loss the builders themselves will be saved but like someone escaping through a wall of fi wall of flames. Okay, so basically this is Paul um, talking to the people um, that in Corinth, the Corinthian churches. Um, there's going to come a time of judgment, and it doesn't phase me not one bit about judgment because we are in the year of fifty seven eighty three, um, the year of judgment and blessings. However, God keeps taking the different scriptures about judgment. And the judgment that we're going to start seeing um, to soon come is going to be the judgments of the church, the judgment of the leaders. Okay. Um, he wanted me, God wants me to read the commentary. So the foundation of the church of all believers is Jesus Christ. Paul laid this foundation by preaching Christ. When he began the church at Corinth, whoever built the church, officials, teachers, preachers, parents, and others must build with high quality materials right doctrine and right living that meets god's standards paul is not criticizing apollos by but challenging future church leaders to have sound preaching and teaching in the church built on jesus christ each member should be mature spiritually sensitive and doctrinally sound however the corinthian church was filled with those who work was wood hay and straw members who were immature and sensitive to one another and vulnerable to wrong doctrine. No wonder they had so many problems. Local church members should be deeply committed to Christ. Can your Christian character stand the test? Um, so I know I had mentioned in one of my other videos where God was saying, work your assignment. Um, and it's basically tied to this message where the leaders of the church, some of them, you know, are not really working their assignments. Um, I know I had mentioned where he said evangelists, ministers, um, apostles, prophets, they are normally out. They're normally out to the people. They go out, they bring the people back to the church. However, we're seeing a lot of separation among churches. People can't come together. Um, the people that are the, the people that have been instructed to go out um, into the community, to the pe places where other people don't normally go, they want to have a church, which is not what God, God has called them to do. So they are experiencing 
a whole bunch of trouble and a whole bunch of drama and a whole bunch of issues within their church. We have to understand, and this is scripture, God gives gifts without repentance and blessings without sorrow. So if God said that for you to go out and get a church or whatever, um, he will make provisions for you before you get there. Okay, because he gives blessings without sorrow, gifts without repentance. He will already make the way the provision for it. Um, and that's why sometimes we see a whole bunch of hell breaking loose within churches because people are out of order. They're not doing what they're supposed to be doing. Um, a lot of these people are doing it for um, their flesh, uh, for wealth. I know I shared a scripture. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Um this morning and God had dropped that particular scripture in my spirit the other day. Um, you turn my house of prayer into a den of thieves. Churches are no longer churches no more. They're being run as businesses. They are being um, used to do things that are not of the will of God, pretty much to um, money laundering and all that other good stuff. If that's been going on in churches too, that's about to come unfold. That's about to be exposed, okay? Um, a building is only as solid as its foundation. The foundation of our life is Jesus Christ. He is our base, our reason for being. Everything that we are and do must fit into the pattern provided by him. Are you building your life on the only real and lasting foundation? Or are you building on a faulty foundation such as wealth, security, success, or fame? Okay? Some of these people, they're doing this stuff for their flesh they're doing this stuff for a get rich quick scheme they doing this stuff because they know churches can't don't get taxed so it's not about the people no more it's not about the people's souls and then they're not doing their work in their assignment which god has called them to work okay so judgment is coming the second scripture that god took me to was isaiah 3 verses 3 but i'm going to be reading verses one through five the lord the lord almighty will cut off the supplies of food and water from jerusalem and judea he will destroy all the nation's leaders heroes soldiers judges prophets diviners elders army officials honorable citizens advisors skilled musician and expert enchanters then he will appoint children to rule over them and anarchy will prevail people will take advantage of each other man against man neighbor fighting neighbor young people will revolt against authority and nobodies will sneer at honorable people okay so god is telling these god is telling you you the ones that are in the position of being in obedience. Be ready. Because when this stuff starts happening, God is going to move you into position to rebuild these churches. God is going to put you in a position to rebuild these businesses and stuff like that in order for it to be the building of his kingdom. Okay? The building of his kingdom. His assignment, his work still got to go forth. He still got some things he needs to do in this season, in this hour, so his glory can be fulfilled, so the prophecy can be fulfilled. Jerusalem besieged, her leaders destroyed. This unhappy picture will soon become a reality. Disobedience will bring serious affliction and great destruction, as God has warned in Deuteronomy 28. I spoke of Deuteronomy chapter 28 before. The blessings of obedience and the curses of disobedience. Y'all, judgment is here. This is no time to be playing games. Get it right. Get it together. Because when we're going to start seeing this stuff, it's really going to start happening in the churches. And I've been preaching this. So I sound like I'm, I know I sound like I'm preaching to the choir. But we're going to see it hit the churches first. Okay? Real hard. Real soon. Um, okay. God wants me to read this. The people will be proud of their sins, persuading, persuading them out in the open. But sin is self-destructive. In today's world, sinful living often appears glamorous, exciting, and clever. 
but sin is wrong, regardless on how society perceives it. And in the long run, sin will make us miserable and destroy us. God tried to protect us by warning us about the harm we will cause ourselves by sinning. Those who are proud of their sins will receive the punishment from God they deserve. Having rejected God's path to life, they have only one alternative, the path to destruction. Okay. So you guys just want to come and share this. Build um, what God wants you to build on the foundation of Jesus Christ. Don't build the foundation off of your own flesh. Make sure you are consulting God about everything in this hour. If you know this is your season of blessings, get ready, get prepared, because a shift is coming. God is going to shift you uh, from where you are now to where he's calling you to be. The transition is coming. Um, and like also to be prepared because we're going to see a lot of judgment happen in this hour. It's going to start in the church. These scriptures do not surprise me, none whatsoever. God has been speaking to me about judgment, 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 um, about walking in obedience, about being submissive to him, about standing at his feet, because we're going to start to see a whole bunch of stuff happening. Um, we are going to start to see a whole bunch of stuff not even happening in the church, but in our society, in our economy. Um, like I said before, God had told me to give a warning message. COVID was just a warning. Was about to come. COVID ain't got nothing on what's about to hit this earth. Um, so if y'all want to go back and watch that video that I said, stay behind the mask, I gave some instructions that God was telling about. So maybe you need to start best stocking up on supplies, food, water, whatever. Because whatever hits this land is not going to be, it's going to be worse than COVID. Okay. And God is sending warning before destruction to help prepare his people. He's going to take care of his people during this time. But you have to be in complete obedience. You have to make sure you are building your foundation off of Jesus Christ and not off of the things of this world. Because it's going to be a great destruction that's going to hit this world because of people's disobedience. Because of how they're doing things within their own flesh and their sinful ways. All right. So I love you guys. I just wanted to come and share this video. Build off of the foundation of Jesus Christ. All right. I love you guys. Have a blessed Monday and I will chat with you all on later.